Yo, first and foremost, I want to apologize to all of my Miami Hurricane fans. I want to apologize to Brevin Jordan, Quincy Roche, and Jose Borgales for not, you know, congratulating you guys earlier. But, you know, I am in the process of moving. As you see, I haven't even get my hair done and nothing like that. So, you know, I'm looking like a real Florida boy right now. They looking like some bolos. Anyways, um, that ain't the point of this video. You know, Quincy Roche went at 216 and um, Brevin Jordan went at 147 and Jose Borgales, number one kicker in the country. He didn't get drafted, but the draft wasn't even over by the time he was already signed you know, by the defending national champions, or should I say Super Bowl champions. I don't know why I said national champions. But, um, yeah, Tampa Bay, the Buccaneers, they signed him. He's already, he's legit, you feel me? He's legit. Now, let's talk about Miami's North Campus, you know, FSU. Florida State University, the Seminoles, just, I meant the Seminoles, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, one of their biggest prospects, man. Now, let me tell you this. If this guy would have went last year, he would have got drafted. But this big overrated, <laughs> this big overrated um, Shaq Quarterman lookalike didn't make the cut this season, man. All right, so let's talk about Big Marv, Marvin Wilson, Marvin Wilson. Florida State, Marvin Wilson, D tackle. Now, this guy, first first beginning of the season, you know, he called out Mike Norville, you know, hey, stop lying, you know, you ain't did this, whoop de woo. Okay, so okay, cool. Alright, I respect it. I respect it. You know, stand up for what you believe in. Hey, you know, probably could have went about it behind closed doors, but hey, hey, nonetheless, you gave us a little entertainment. You gave us a little something to talk about. Now. What we can't talk about is his performance on the field. Because this season, it seemed non-existence. This season, if overrated was in the dictionary with a picture, you'll see big number 21, big Marvin Wilson. You know, the, the season, before the season start, they had this guy ranked, I think like the number five player in the country. That's how highly rated he was until he proved the whole country wrong. Florida State, Y'all up there the developing dubs. I'm, I'm, did I say dubs? <laughs> I'm sorry, Florida State fan. I'm hyping y'all up. Y'all up there developing duds, duds, bust. Not even, well, I can't even say he he's a bust because he's not even drafted. And, you know, he's going to have to go into free agency, you know, try to walk somewhere, go trading somewhere, go do something, but he ain't get drafted. Damn. How you go from being one of the top rated players in the country? And and don't get me wrong, I'm clowning them. I'm clowning them. But I was rooting for him at the same time. But you know, I was rooting for him. He's a young black man, nonetheless, where did the school where where the school he went to? I was rooting for him. But this shit just just funny to me, man. I'm not even on Marvin Wilson. I'm more on Florida State. Florida State, that's what y'all do, man. Y'all get the highly rated players. Then you switch your coaches around. If Willie Tagger was there, I'm going to say it straight up. Marvin Wilson would have got developed. Straight up. Mike Norvell ain't it. He's not. Y'all fans can sit there and, and play with the Mike Norvell is doing this and doing that and recruiting. They 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 commit to decommit. Mike Norvell ain't it. He's not a Florida guy. These kids do not relate to him. Why you think he's bringing in um, guys like Randy Shannon and, you know, anybody around that's affiliated with Florida, with the state of Florida, period. These kids cannot relate to Norville. These kids, the perfect job for Mike Norville would probably been like a Tennessee. Somewhere somewhere in them, um, them backwood country areas. But Florida, well, I mean, well, then again, Tallahassee is a backwood. Uh, <laughs> man, anyways, man, Mike, Mike Norville ain't it, bro. He ain't it. He, not for the state of Florida. He ain't got that Florida swag. I'm I'm sorry. Kids down here won't relate to him. Why well, you think most of the recruits he's going out? He's trying to go into Georgia. He's trying to, Georgia kids ain't gonna relate to him either. Cause Georgia and uh, Florida kids they they kind of similar. These 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 kids can't relate to Narville. I'm sorry, Florida State, but man, 
as quick as y'all fight Willie Tech, I want to see if y'all going to fight Mike Norvell at the end of the season because dude, he ain't it, bro. Y'all know it. Y'all fan base know it. Y'all been walking the lines on Norvell situation, but y'all know it's true. He ain't it. Big Marv, bro, sorry you wasted your talent, bro, your last season. you you. I would say you might as well have came back this season. It's a free season, but then again, Norvell weren't going to do nothing for you anyway, bro. It is what it is. When you put his ass out there last season, he... I don't want to say he, he 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 was set on not getting you drafted or not playing you right or not developing you right, but not pushing you. Because you damn sure didn't get pushed this season. Oh, never mind. You got pushed. You got pushed back a lot in games. 